Hi, welcome to this week's video. It is about tan in a can. Yes, how to get your dark glow on without spending time in the sun. And you know what? It is as much about procedure as it is about product. I'm walking you through step-by-step step how to get your best glow, how not to get streaks, how to make it last, what are some techniques to avoid those patches, what are some of the best products out there, what are some of my favorites? So let's talk about the main ingredient in sunless tanners, most of them in fact. It's dihydroxyacetone or DHA. It's derived from a sugar. It's basically what happens to an apple once it's been cut and exposed to air. That's when it changes color and turns brown. Same thing happens when this is applied to our skin and exposed to air. Most of the products have it. A lot of them are vegan. They've removed other chemicals inside. So I'm really happy to show you an array of product and they all work. I'm literally covered in these products from head to toe, as I will show you in just a bit. Uh, I am in a sports bra and a pair of shorts. So I will literally apply a different product to a different body part and you'll be able to see how to apply it and how quickly the result starts to show. But to me, the most important thing about making a self tan effective is the prep work that you do. It is so important to have exfoliated, clean skin. So let me share with you a few products that really fit the bill when it comes to that. I find that scrubs are just too harsh for me, so I go a different route with my face. This is a product by Beekman 1802, another line that I love. It's called Milk Glaze. It's Deep Pore Purging Lactic Acid Clay Mask. It minimizes pores, boosts radiance, and it even skin tone. It's that 10% lactic acid in here, along with the Dead Sea Mud, the goat milk, and a probiotic extract that really helps to not only clean, but work as an exfoliator for your face without all of the harsh scrubbing. So it feels so good and, and cool and calming on the skin, so you apply Apply it, set your timer for 15 minutes. I do it before I get into the shower and that way my face is completely clean and the acid in this is working as an exfoliator instead of a harsh scrub. One of them is KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA, safe for sensitive skin. It is a real gritty body exfoliant, dermatologist tested, no artificial fragrance. But what I love about it is you get a great scrub out of this. So as I demonstrate on my chest, I really focus on areas where DHA in the self tanner tends to gather on dry, patchy areas. So really when you're in the shower, spend some time. I use this product. I exfoliate my entire body, but I really concentrate on elbows, knees, tops of feet, tops of hands. That's really where the self tanning product tends to concentrate and where people get frustrated because they get those dark patches. So a good scrub is key. This to me is my go-to in the shower before I self tan. Now, once you get out of the shower, you towel dry, you don't put on any moisturizer except, and I have a little variant here. What I like to do is just take a regular body moisturizer. This is Jergens Skin Firming. I like it for me. Um, firms, tightens, skin feels hydrated. I take just a tiny, tiny pump of the moisturizer and I will apply it to those areas where I get those patches. So it's just a protection against getting the dark spots on the elbows, knees, and tops of feet. Normally, you're not supposed to moisturize anywhere on your body, but for me, just a little hit of a moisturizer is just an added protection that I'm not gonna get those patches. And I always find that it works well for me. And I still get the tanning product there, it's just not as concentrated. So that's how it really helps. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I tan my face, and I really love these tanning drops by tanologist and it's for face and body. I choose to use it for my face because you can control it. And you mix this product in your favorite moisturizer. You can use anywhere from two to 12 drops depending on how tan you wanna get so it's buildable. And my moisturizer that I use is uh, the Eucerin, the Redness Relief. And so I just scoop out a little bit of that moisturizer and then I put in about five drops into my moisturizer and spread evenly across my 
face until fully absorbed. So again, make sure you're getting all of your areas. I bring it down also on my neck. I use this for my neck. I will also use other tanning product up my neck as well, but I just wanna make sure that I am fully covered and I give this some time to soak in. The products that we'll be featuring today, Body Drench, Quick Tan, Instant Tan, Bronzing Spray in Medium to Dark, St. Moritz Ultra Dark Tanning Mousse, Bondi Sands, Arrow, Aerated Self Tanning Foam in Ultra Dark, Be Tan Forever and Ever Ultra Long Tanning Mousse. Tanned AF by B Tan in Darkest for the face, Tanologist, face and body drops. So the first product I wanna share with you is one that I found on Amazon and it's by Body Drench quick tan bronzing spray in medium to dark. This one runs about $12. It is an instant spray on tan. It dries immediately, gives you a wonderful sun-kissed glow. It is tinted so you know exactly where you're applying. As you can see, I'm spraying it on my chest. It's a natural sunless tan. It develops right away. Not super, super dark, but enough if you want a quick hit. Also, if you're a little hesitant about how dark a tanning product is going to take you, I think this this is a super safe starting product because it's not as dark as the rest, even though it says medium to dark. It also has orange extract, aloe vera, sea kelp, chamomile, and black walnut. A lovely smell, not sticky, and again, just a real easy go-to if you kind of want a spray and go approach. I find that after it dries, which is within a couple of minutes, I can put on my clothes. I'm not sticky, it doesn't transfer onto my clothes. So it's it's kind of a no brainer when it comes to a light type of a tan. But again, if you are a little more fair than I am, this could be a darker product for you. So it's one of my favorites and I've had it here in my bathroom for quite a while. Next product on my list is St. Moritz. This is the Ultra Dark Tanning Mousse. This one is, I want my tan on and I want it now. Well, this is your mousse. I will say, and I don't know if it's my particular bottle or not, but this one did have a little bit of a leak issue, which was a concern to me when I was shaking it. But, and with all of these products, you always use a mitt, never apply with your hands, as you're clearly seeing. This mousse comes out dark, and the minute I apply it to my right leg, it is dark. It is a mousse that's actually going to process over four hours, it has hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5. You can get dressed, right after there are a variety of shades as well i just went with the darkest because i wanted to show you just how dark you can get right away the next one i want to show you is by bondi sands this one is arrow it's aerated self tanning foam in ultra dark this is a very lightweight foam again has that color guide you're going to notice on this one that color guide runs a little green don't let that be off-putting. It does change over time. This one takes about four hours to process, but it is a very lightweight formula. So you can use it and then you can get dressed and go on with your day. They say after about six hours, you should shower with warm water, pat the skin dry. It comes in a variety of shades as well. And it is streak free because of that color guide. Also, this one does not have smell. The coconut scent most certainly helps with this product, as uh, with all of them, I find that the after a smell or lack thereof has really, really changed the self tanning game. That was the biggest complaint all along was that by the end of the day, you just stank and it was horrible and nobody liked it. They've really worked hard to fix that. So I'm grateful to say that all of these do wear well. And by the time you need to rinse it off, you know, you're good to go. Um, let me also share with you and I've got quite a few tanning hacks that I'm gonna share throughout this video. One of them is when you apply on your body, I always apply first to my mitt. You can, some of the sprays you can apply on your body first, but if it's a foam, you apply to the mitt. Always start in the largest area. So if it's your leg, start in the middle of your thigh, and then you can work your way up and down, leaving the least amount for your knee area. So that way the areas that do have the tendency to hold on to that self tanner and get too dark, you're using the lightest amount there. Okay, so we're moving on now to two more products. They're both by the very same line, B Tan, like B period, tan, uh, sold on Amazon as well, quite affordable. This is that B Tan spray mist that I was talking about, tanned AF. It is a instant dark 
tan. His spray goes on incredibly light. It's vegan and cruelty free. The price point's amazing. It's like $9 on Amazon. Crazy good. So I'm going to spray my arm. You're going to see that it comes in sort of a reddish goldish bronzy color and then I take the mitt and I just blend it in. So this one, not as dark as the other ones as some of the mousses that you've seen, but still it processes and it will give you a really, really nice dark tan. But I love the fact that it is super quick. It dries, you get that instantaneous glow and you don't have to wait for a long time for it to process. It does take up to four hours, but I do like the fact that you spray it on and again, you immediately feel like you have a nice glow about you, won't transfer onto your clothes and it just has a, a very air and lightweight feel to it. So I really, really love this product. I, I think it's just killer. So the other one by B Tan that I want to feature is, is just craziness. Okay. This is B Tan forever and ever. It's a tanning mousse and it lasts up to 11 days. Okay. That's crazy. This sucker has staying power. It is a tanning mousse as well. So you see it now applied to my other arm and it is ultra long lasting. The B tan line is great because it's vegan and cruelty free. No gross fake tan smell, no parabens, no nasties. It's hundred percent natural DHA. So you let this one develop for one to eight hours. And when you're happy, you just rinse in lukewarm water, no soap. And there you go. You've got your tan that's going to last you 11 days and you're going to be super dark and super happy. I would do something like this before I went on a beach vacation. I probably would start off tanner than when I left, <laughs> which is the ultimate irony, but it's so true. So, so true. Okay. Another one of my great tanning hacks and, and you're just, you're going to love this. All right. So you have one of these, which by the way is great for exfoliating. If you don't want to buy an exfoliator, you can just take your scrub brush, put some soap in it and just scrub yourself all over. Great for circulation also on the thighs. Love that. But everybody complains, I can't get the tanning product on my back. What do I do? Here's what you do. You take this, you take your mitt, you put your mitt over it. You take a ponytail holder. I have one of those sort of plasticky squiggly ones. And then you secure the tanning mitt over your scrubber and away you go. And all you have to do is spray on or pump on your tanning product. And you now are able to tan every area of your back. And you don't have to call your husband who doesn't want to deal with the mitt and the potential orange hands or any of that. You are totally self-sustaining. <laughs> and I love that too. <laughs> okay. Um, again, the tools that you will need and a lot of the tanning products come with it or sold with it. Tanning mitt for sure. I will link everything in the description portion of the video so that you can go right to it. If any of these products speak to you, they make big mitts. They also make little mitts. So you can even use a body tanner, spray it on your little mitt and rub it on your face. If you want to do that. Another idea, you can get a black beauty blender. This one I found at Ulta and you can just spray on a tanning product and apply it with a black beauty blender. And then you don't have to worry about the pink and the orange ones turning that brownish color. So those are all um, great little extras to have in your tanning repertoire as you um, process and work on your tan that these days I think look so incredibly natural and amazing and quick. And you know, if you need a tan for an evening, you're good to go. Um, and I love the fact that all of these products and companies are really working to pull a lot of nasty things out of products, making me feel, and probably you feel a lot more comfortable and safe putting them on the largest organ of our body, which is our skin. So I'm so happy to, uh, share my favorites with you and my favorite application tricks and what works. And it's, you know, it's great. I don't right now, I just self tan. That's, that's all you're seeing. I've got a little bit of lip gloss and I kicked in like a coral blush and, and that's it. So you're just looking at tan here. Um, hope this was helpful. If you've got some favorites as always, 
put them in the comments section below, as well as future ideas for videos as we head into the summer months. I've got my wheels turning, but I know you do too, and I always appreciate your additions to the content here. Social media is where I am during the week, and I'd love to have you there as well. If you're not following me on any of the platforms, I'm on all of the social media platforms. At Dominique Soxa is where I'm at. Um, never end a sentence with a preposition. And of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button, enable the notifications, and then you'll be notified every time I release a video every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. So with your fabulous glow, because I know you're gonna get your glow on, go out, be bold, and be blessed this week. I'll see you next time. Bye.